With more non-travel related cases of the Zika virus popping up throughout the state, many pregnant women are taking extra precautions to avoid contracting the disease. And now, Brazilian and American doctors have released new images showing the damage the Zika virus can cause to unborn babies. And there's a very specific condition that's being noticed. And Dr. David Saria, our News Channel 5 medical expert, is joining us this morning to talk more about it. Thanks a lot for being with us. What, of course. What is the condition and anything that would affect unborn babies is a part of a strain of this, isn't that's it? That's right, that's yeah. right. So, you no, know, we're finding out more and more, and what's what's becoming scarier by the day, and as we get more uh, uh, more research and more experience uh, under our belts, is that you know what we thought was really benign a year ago is really becoming much more of a concern today. You know, and then as we become more aware, we know that the microcephaly, which is the biggest complication or birth defect that is known to us, is becoming more prominent. And what's happening is that. Now we, it's not just where women that are pregnant that become infected and develop symptoms are the only ones that are at risk. What we're slowly finding out, or certainly what we're concerned about, is that is an infection with Zika virus prior to pregnancy putting you at risk? Is that infection during pregnancy and or an infection of the male and then sexual, sexually uh, transmitted? There's some concern there. And there's even concern where it can occur where you don't have the complications right at birth. Right. But then we're seeing complications or potential defects down the road that can present years later. We've got some images, and they seem to be a little frightening and disturbing. Yes. And what are doctors learning from them? Well, I think what we're finding is we're learning the actual anatomy or the pathophysiology that's occurring within the brain during the development of the fetus. And so what's happening is what we're seeing is the infection of the Zika virus is affecting the neural progenitor cells, and it's stunting the growth of the brain. And so where their brain should be developing is not, and thus where there's no brain development, there's no skull development, and so both are remaining small. Is there a point during pregnancy that the risk of Zika is at its greatest? Well, we don't know. That's just it. We know that probably earlier on is when it's most dangerous because that's when the brain is developing at its fullest. And then, of course, later in, later in, the, um, in the development of the fetus, third trimester, the brain is typically fully formed, but there are probably, unfortunately, some defects or concerns in the development that can occur afterwards as well, not just the size of the brain. And that's what we're, what's what we're really trying to find out as time goes on. Pregnant women stay inside, wear bug repellent, and stay in touch with yeah, the I, doctors. I think it's, I think, I think it's becoming more and more serious. This concern needs to be taken seriously. Stay away from those zones, use insect repellent, stay away, minimize your risk All right. the best you can. And as you're vindicated, the best we know, we're learning a lot. Thank you, we Dr. Sri. Yes. As we learn more, we'll continue to bring it to you.